Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chuck. I'm a hairdresser and salon owner in Austin, Texas. In today's video, we're doing a full head of balayage and then color melting in some vintage golden tones. The result will be a soft iridescent blonde with golden accents and this color is just so velvety soft and beautiful. I start by pre-sectioning off this front panel into diagonal partings, leaving a triangle just above the ear to the front hairline. I'm painting the top and front side of this panel to achieve maximum brightness here while leaving the interior darker for contrast. I concentrate the lightener at the root area and lightly feather it out. I paint my balayage pieces to the root throughout. I'll later shadow the back a little, but I want to lift the root to lighten and brighten the look of her overall color. I complete the same process to the other side before moving on to the back. In the back, after pre-sectioning, I start at the nape with full coverage panels of balayage. These pieces will add softness, but won't get to a bright blonde. I want to soften the color here without adding brightness. As I work my way up the back, I start painting heavier on the hairline areas and still panel painting on the interior. This will give me the brighter blonde pieces I'm looking for at the hairline while leaving the interior with more depth as it would occur naturally. Once I make it up to the low crown area, I begin to paint in more solid, individual balayage pieces, similar to what I did on the sides. Though I want this area to have a lot of blonde, I also want to ensure that I maintain a adequate amount of darkness as well so that the blonde has contrast to pop off of. All right, we're just gonna process now until the desired results are achieved and then it will be time to rinse. We rinse the lightener from the hair and shampoo with a Mika The Cure shampoo, then separate out the face frame highlights. Once I have them clipped away, I separate the back down the middle into two sections, making it easier to apply the toner. I apply a mixture of Pravana Express toners, beige, pearl, violet, and natural for my toner formula. I apply it roots to ends to everything except the face frame pieces. I work the color in really well, making sure to hit all the hair. Once the color has processed to the desired result, I include in the face frame pieces, add a little toner to them, and allow it to tone them for only a few seconds just long enough for the pieces to pick up a sheer tone. Once the face frame pieces are ready, I rinse away the toner thoroughly and apply Moroccan Oil Blonde Perfecting Purple Shampoo. I emulsify it throughout her hair, allowing it to do its thing and then rinse. I only want to enhance the pearl tone of the lightest pieces, so I don't want the purple shampoo to stay on for very long at all. Once the purple shampoo has had time to do its thing, I rinse it away and then I follow up with Amika The Cure Conditioner. I'm using Leaf and Flower 7 Minute Blow Dry Spray and Frizz Remedy throughout her hair, as well as Olaplex number no. six through the ends for added smoothness and control. 
I use a Spornet long smooth operator round brush to blow dry the hair. Since I'm looking to straighten and smooth her hair, I've chosen a large barrel. These are my favorite round brushes. I'll link it below if you're interested in checking it out. And here is the final result. Vintage Golden Blonde. A soft golden blonde feel with iridescent baby blonde pieces mixed in to create this gorgeous color. I hope you love it.